Hey, this is um, a little uh, tutorial on the uh, American Hunter 350 pound tripod feeder. A few things that you'll need to do to update it to make this thing last a lot longer than what they're one year or two years on it. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, first thing is, is the uh, the legs. It comes with these little, little nifty things. I put the screws on the outside and then the, instead of the inside. Um, and then I covered it with some plastic, screwed them on there real good. It comes with these real dinky little pipes and stuff. Um, I'm using the first joint right here. I'm going to get rid of this. I just put this up there to work on the timer. Um, but I used the first one in there because it's nice and slick. So if any critters crawl up the legs, um, they're going to have a tendency of falling off before they can get to the, uh, to the uh, feeder deal themselves. Uh, the other part is, is this, is if you look inside there, you see this little white deal inside there. Okay, that's one inch high pressure PVC pipe. I cut them at 14 inches and they come down to about right here. They fit, you just knock them on this little piece right here. You knock them on with a hammer and then put this first tubing on there. And then what I did is I just put, I just put some self-tapping screws right into that, into this part right here. Uh, the square tubing that way it holds this real steady because if you don't have that piece in there This thing wobbles like an old Guy on a Saturday night coming home in his truck. He's gonna be all over the road um, So uh, that tightens it up pretty good the second piece of this is gonna be is I'm gonna go down to one of the feed stores and buy some uh, steel fencing posts and uh, probably eight footers give me another six feet or so or maybe a 10 footer it depends i'm gonna i'm gonna see which will work the best uh but where i'm putting this feeder we got hogs and um hogs have a tendency of tearing up feeders okay so you need something steady something in there because them little boogers are just they're just tough on all equipment that you have out there uh the second part of this is it took me a while to figure out because the instructions don't tell you how to put the battery in um, doesn't tell, kind of gives you an idea what battery to buy, but you need to buy the six volt spring loaded. It's got the springs in the front, um, in there. And all it does is just push into the back of the timer, pushes back into the timer and that's how it powers it. Okay. I added this little strap to it to keep it in, um, to keep it in place. Um, I also added a photo charger because that's a rechargeable battery and uh, bought that extra from you know you can get those anywhere and wired it into the system you know put it into the side right over here so it's waterproof comes back in there and then it hooks up to my little battery over there you can't use clips on that battery charger you just have to fray the wire wire it around and then and then plug it in once you do that then you're ready to rock and roll and uh, it automatically sets it up. If you have a little six volt charger at home, I strongly recommend to charge your battery before you put it in. That way it's ready to go. I'm just checking everything. Uh, programming's pretty easy. You just hit the left button, comes up. If you wanna set the time, uh, you hit the uh, right button, hold it. Well, that's test. That ain't gonna work. Well, you can see the test now. I got to set it for five seconds, twice. Okay, so I have it, if you can see up here, I have it set at the custom setting. It comes with presets. I got custom one and and then uh, I got custom two at different times. Uh, relatively easy to work. What I strongly recommend is take the picture of your instructions on how to set this thing and download them to your notes. Um, that way you always have them with you. Uh, if you got your phone, most of the time we got our phone, but a lot of times we don't have our, our, our instructions. We usually lose them. If you're like me, I put them off to the side and then I don't know what happens. The cats get them, the dogs eat it, you know, the whole nine yards. Uh, relatively easy feeder over here. We're gonna be putting this one on uh, some property that I bought and uh, we're gonna see how it does. If it does really good, over there on this other one that we have i'll probably buy a couple of more put them around and um and we'll go just twists up on the bottom pretty quick 
pretty easy easy to take off and on pretty waterproof so if you have any questions or anything else uh hey try to get a hold of me somehow leave me a message on the video see more coming from me thanks